Hello folks, uh, in this video we're going to talk about uh, first responder tools and here I have with me the Spyderco D Alara Rescue Knife. Okay, um, this knife was actually uh, produced in memory of uh, police officer John D Alara who lost his uh, life during the uh, September 11 uh, attack at the uh, Twin Towers uh, in New York's uh, World Trade Center. Uh, this is a very interesting knife. In fact, um, this was also one of the very few first uh, spider coats that has a bi-directional textured grip. Um, this is much improved from the earlier version of the rescue knives. Um, it's a very grippy material and it also fe features a wire clip for, for your uh, clothing clip. And the lock itself is actually something that is uh, really, really innovative. It's called the ball bearing lock. It is a spring-loaded lock that acts as a piston. And once you deploy the knife, the ball bearing will just push into the um, uh, cutout on the knife to hold it together. It's a very solid piece and uh, it has a very uh, uh, interesting shape. This is like a modified sheep's foot and of course the serration on this VG10 blade. Now this is also one of the smoothest uh, knives around when it comes to opening and closing and um, the uh, namesake itself, um, the person is a very good friend of uh, Spider Coast and um, there's a version of this knife that was issued um, sometime uh, back to honor the memory of uh, Officer Dialara uh, with a, a piece of steel inlay uh, from the uh, Twin Tower. Some of the scrap metal from the Twin Tower was incorporated onto the knife and it comes with a, a very nice uh, wooden presentation box. Uh, this however is the regular run and you can see the attention to detail. It has uh, uh, steel liners on the blade, just um, uh, you know, putting it together. And this is really an exquisite uh, piece. You know, uh, it's not only plastic. It has got some uh, beef in it. It's also quite a hefty piece. And the um, uh, the wire uh, clip is also one of uh, Spider Coast innovation. And it can be rigged uh, for left and right uh, carry. Now again, uh, Spyderco's uh, design is ambidextrous. You can do a left on it. And uh, once you are used to it, the ball bearing lock itself is, is um, something that is quite nice to play around with. It is just uh, so smooth. Um, now on this knife, unlike the um, rescue knives, the, the handle itself is uh, held together by a couple of screws. Once you remove it, the whole knife can be taken apart for servicing. You might need to clean up the uh, inner parts of the blade, especially you know, if there's wear on the spring, you can actually replace it. But so far so good. I think I've had this knife for quite a while and it hasn't given me much uh, problem. As a matter of fact, uh, there's actually a collector's number 172 on the blade. This knife was made to me by mistake, but uh, I think Spyderco made good by actually uh, redoing the collector's number for the intended owner. And uh, yeah, this is the Spyderco um, Alara Rescue. Thank you very much for watching.